Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I am Tommy Burton and today we're going to be talking about Permanent Waves by Rush. This was Rush's seventh album, of course Canadian rock band, released on January 14, 1980. Now the band had gone on a major, major tour uh, in support of uh, the Hemispheres album and they decided to take a break before getting back together and this kind of was a little bit uh, of a departure for them because they were getting more into sort of tighter song structures and getting away from uh, sort of the expanded idea and so as a result uh, the songs on this album were, were really well suited uh, for the radio and it kind of brought Rush uh, a new audience uh, radio wise. Now they got together at Trident Studios in London and recorded with Terry Brown uh, and put the album together. Now the album uh, generally received good reviews. Uh, fans are a big fans are obviously fans, but the the album uh, has its fans. But uh, the critics were also uh, also quite uh, enamored with this album. Uh, it features that sort of classic Rush lineup, bass and synth from Geddy Lee. Uh, Alex Lifeson's uh, guitar and, of course, uh, incredible drumming from from Neil Peart. Um, Spirit of Radio uh, was was a single from this album, probably uh, one of the most well known songs from the album. Free Will and then Entre uh, Noose uh, were also as uh, released as singles. Now, Spirit of Radio, um, kind of uh, in the closing section of the song, kind of featured a little bit uh, of an experimentation in reggae. Uh, now the band would kind of do a little bit more with that um, and sort of the ensuing albums, particularly Moving Pictures and Signals. They had done sort of this reggae sort of riffs before uh, and they um, came up with, the, on the song Working Man, they had come up with a uh, sort of a reggae introduction. So they, they went in and decided to, when they were doing Spirit of Radio to go ahead and put it in there uh, just to have a little fun. Uh, and so... Uh, Neil Peart had co-written the lyrics to the song uh, and kind of had a radio station in mind and they um, adopted the title as its slogan so it was a great kind of tribute back and forth now another song worth mentioning from this album is Jacob's Ladder Jacob's Ladder uh, closes the first side of the record and very very um, a lot of different uh, time signatures um of course, the concept's pretty simple. Uh, sort of sunlight breaking through storm clouds uh, kind of comes through there. And of course, uh, the title is the sort of reference to the, the biblical ladder to heaven uh, where Jacob saw the angels uh, in a vision. And so, it's a, it's a very complex song and it's a fan favorite. Um, Andre New, uh, French for Between Us, wasn't really a huge hit, uh, and they didn't play it live until much, much later. Uh, and so they were just getting back from the, um, they're taking a step back from sort of those epic uh, prog rock kind of sounds. But the closing track, Natural Science, it brings us back uh, three distinct movements, nine minutes long, uh, and so... That was the that was sort of the uh, the sort of nod to their earlier work. Now the cover work, artwork, a uh, little bit of controversy because the newspaper headline down here is the Dewey defeats Truman, uh, and so it got changed to Dewey with an I because uh, someone with the Chicago Tribune complained about it. And so, um, and sometimes they, they blanked it out completely. Uh, so one of those weird things where the cover doesn't quite match up, uh, depends on what you get. But, um, this is, uh, for Rush fans, it's a, it's one of those albums. Um, and Spirit of the Radio is just tons of fun to play. Just tight, incredible playing. You can't go wrong with it. Just for a good rock and roll jam. Permanent Waves by Rush. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton 75 In the meantime, I'll see you all again tomorrow with another daily record.